Hi everybody, Craig Wilkins, back here with you with another edition of The Daily Pause, a devotional of positivity and encouragement for Friday, September 9th, 2022. I pray that you not only have a very blessed day today, but also that today's devotional serves as an inspiration, a motivation, and an encouragement for you and helps put a smile on your face. If you enjoyed the Daily Pause devotional, make sure you hit that like button and feel free to subscribe and follow us on my Facebook page, The Daily Pause, on my YouTube channel, Greg Wilkins, as well as Twitter at Greg Wilkins 78. And if you know someone else who may be blessed by this devotional, feel free to share it with them and also encourage them to like, follow and subscribe to the Daily Pause devotional. My goal and desire for this devotional is that every time you watch an episode, it gives you the encouragement and the impetus to continue to strive to be the best that you can be on any given day. And always remember, no matter what, God does love you, God dares care for you, and God will always be there for you. Well, let's get started with today's devotional entitled, Don't Leave Home Without It. Now, I remember one Sunday, it's about a month ago. I was getting ready for church. I had just finished sending out my daily pause devotional and I was getting my bag and I was sitting, sat on my bed, I was getting everything else, getting everything else ready, had my cell phone and oh, oh, wait, wait, I left my earbuds. These wireless earbuds right here that I usually keep on the side of my dresser before I put them in my pocket. But for some reason it wasn't in my pocket. So I went looking all over for it. I'm like, okay, so it's not here. Maybe I had it in the bathroom. No, not there. Maybe I set it on the dryer. No, not there. So in my suit, I'm on my hands and knees, just rubbing around the floor. Maybe it fell. Maybe it fell. No, it's not there. No, it's not by my exercise bike. No, it, no, it's not, no, it's not in my laundry hamper. No, it's not there. I looked underneath the bed. No, it's not there. I looked inside each drawer. Maybe it fell inside the drawer. I was looking and throwing clothes everywhere. I'll pick it up when I get home. I was just throwing clothes everywhere. And lo and behold, not only did I not only forget, my earbuds, but I also forgot to get my bag while I was heading towards the door. And when I went, when I saw, oh, there's my bag, I forgot my bag. Oh, the earbuds was, the earpods were sitting on top of my bag. And I said to myself, oh, I'm never going to let this happen again. I'm never going to let this happen again. As soon as I wake up, I'm going to put these in my pocket so I know exactly where these are. Wherever I go, I have them with me. And we do that with a lot of things, whether it be earbuds, whether it be cell phones, car keys, wallet, or whatever, I, we we look for these things because we we spend a lot for them, or they're very near and dear to us, and they're very valuable to us in one way, shape, or form. So we want to know where they are. We'll do we'll spend forever looking for them, and we'll clean up the mess we make later. But we'll spend forever looking for them. But the question I want to ask today is that we look for these fr- things so frantically, whether it be earbuds or car keys or a cell phone, or a laptop or a hat or an item of clothing or someone look all over for it. But why don't we do so not only for peace, but to why don't we try to keep peace the same way we're frantically looking for these items? One thing I've learned through life is that peace is the one thing we'll spend a lifetime looking for, but a second losing it. Peace is not losing our peace is not worth the chaos that we go through because peace and chaos cannot and will not dwell in the same place. You're either in a state of peace or you're in a state of chaos. You can't be in both. And it's important that we try to do our best to keep a peaceful mindset. Whatever we go, whatever we go through. Now, there are some things that we cannot control what happened to us. But like has been said many times before, those things we can't control. But we can control ourselves in the midst of those things. And being in a peaceful mindset, being in the peace of God, helps us do that. And it brings us to today's feature song. Today's feature feature song is by Minister Keith Pringle. It was originally released in 1984. The name of the song is Perfect Peace, Keeper of My Soul. And it's based off the scripture, Thou will keep thee in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee. Now, how do we stay there? Well, there's another scripture in Philippians 4, 6-7 through that says, Be careful for nothing, but in all things, through prayer and supplication, make your requests be known to God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will keep your minds, hearts and minds, through Christ Jesus. Now, He gives us peace. He gives us peace. And it's something that we need to treasure. 
but we do, we do so quickly, we lose it because somebody said something or because something happened. And we go to a chaotic mindset. We start to get scatterbrained. We get frustrated. We get angry. The anger turns to bitterness and the bitterness turns to resentment and the resentment turns to rage. And it goes, goes on and on and on from there. So how do we keep ourselves in that peaceful mindset? Not only do we have to think about it, but we got to put on the whole armor of God. We got to put on that breastplate of righteousness, which protects our heart. We got to, we got to put on the gird our loins with truth. We got to keep our feet, our feet shot up with the preparation of the gospel of peace. We got to keep on the helmet of salvation, which protects our mind from all those attacks that we see throughout the day. And not only do that, we have to have the shield of faith that will quench all the attacks that come at us. But what we have all these defensive things, what we use for offense, we use the word of God for offense. It's the sword. We use that. We use that not only to combat the things that come at us, but also remind us of the things that can help us stay in peace. And we've got to carry that armor with us wherever we go. In medieval days, knights did not go into battle just wearing jockey shorts and a ball cap. They wore an entire armor. They wore a suit of armor that protected them from head to toe so that the joust, the javelin cannot pierce them. It may knock them off the horse, but it's still protected. They can get back on that horse and continue to fight. If we don't wear the whole armor of God, the attacks of life that the enemy tries to come at us and thwart us with will pierce us in ways that will cause us to lose our peace. Now, the, now the enemy's not, job is not to steal our peace. His job is to make us think that we never had it or to give it up in the first place. And we've got to do that by wearing the whole armor of God. That way we can stay in perfect peace. That way we can keep our minds stayed on God. If that's not, that's a two pronged attack. We got to keep our minds focused on God and we got to keep ourselves protected in every way, shape or form. And when we do happen to lose our peace, Let's not spend, let's not just throw it away. I will get it when I get it. We got to search for it and then we got to cling to it closer. Cling to it closer. Peace is one thing we've got to protect. We've got to protect our peace. It's a precious gift given to God by He set us free. And when He set us free by dying on Calvary, He said it is finished. It is finished. And He gave us the Bible, basic instructions before leaving earth to, to help us lead us and guide us through this thing. And He gave us this armor to protect ourselves and the word to make sure that we can go on the offense knowing what we can do. And we gotta do that in a peaceful mindset. We cannot function in chaos. That's why peace and chaos cannot dwell in the same place. If we come at somebody with a, in, a, in a chaotic mindset, we're gonna get that back. But if we come to somebody in a peaceful mindset, they'll either do one of two things. They either understand it and embrace it or they'll reject it and walk away. But it's not our job to, to try to beat them over the head. Stay in peace. Stay in peace. It is not worth forfeiting your peace to try to enter into the mind of chaos, an activity, activity of chaos. Keep your peace and keep your mind stayed on Christ. He is the keeper of your soul if you want to be kept. And I pray that this song and this devotional encourages us to, to frantically look for things like we look for our earbuds and our cell phones. And then when we try to, when we do find them, we lock them up. We find whatever we make sure we keep them. We make sure we keep them. I have not lost these earbuds ever since that, that day last month. I always keep them with me. When we get that peace, do what we can to keep it. Do what you have to do to keep it. It's not worth losing. It's not worth forfeiting. Nothing or no one is worth forfeiting your peace. So keep your peace. And God is the keeper of your soul. And he will be with you every step of the way. So I encourage you on a day. Don't lose your peace. And always keep that armor of God on you and never leave home without it. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for dying on the cross for us. We thank you for settling everything on the cross. We know that the battle is over and we are shouting now for it. But although the enemy wants to come at us and makes us think that we do not have joy, we don't have peace, we don't have the victory. We, rec we recall that your word says that we do. And we will keep that word hidden in our heart and we'll wear that armor of God to protect ourselves so that the enemy won't try to make us forfeit our peace. Lord, help us to stay 
in a sober mindset and a peaceful mindset and to follow you and trust you wherever you take us. Lord, let your peace be around us all today. Let your peace be in our families. Let your peace be in our homes. Let your peace be in our jobs. Let your peace be in our schools. Let your peace be in our government. Let your peace rest, rule, and abide with us always, now, henceforth, and forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, this is the part of our devotional which we give our birthday and anniversary shout outs. And if you have any that you would like to send in, you could do so by leaving them in the comment section below. Or you can email me at glwilkins78 at outlook.com. You can also contact me on Facebook Messenger. Or you can text me at 864-860-1522. Also, leave a comment there as well. I'd like to know how the devotional is impacting your life or how I can improve. Or you can also send in some topics that you'd like to see discussed or some songs or some videos that you'd like to see featured as a part of the Daily Pause devotional. Now, today we want to wish a very special happy birthday to another fraternity brother of mine. Like a lot of them are born in the last three weeks. Uh, a good fraternity brother of mine, Josh Gore. Also want to wish happy birthday to Adam Gowan. And a very special 10th birthday to a, a very special young lady. Happy birthday to Ariana Barton. Ariana, Josh and Adam, I hope you all have a very blessed birthday. May God continue to bless you with many more and enjoy your birthday on today. Thank you for watching today's edition of The Daily Pause. I thank you for watching. I thank you for your support. And remember, your peace is not worth forfeiting. Your peace is not giving up in a second's notice because the day's going wrong or somebody said something or somebody said something that somebody said something that somebody said something that they told you that they said something about somebody that somebody said. It's not worth all that. It's not worth the chaos. It's not worth losing your peace of mind. God gave you that peace. Protect it. Protect it with the whole armor of God and by keeping your mindset with him. And never leave anywhere. Don't go anywhere without it. Don't go anywhere without it. Continue to love each other. Continue to be safe. And remember, every day there is always time to take a pause. And Lord willing, I will see you again on tomorrow. Enjoy today's feature song. Perfect Peace, Keeper of My Soul, composed by Rudolf Stanfield and originally released in, on the album Perfect Peace in 1984. This version is off his 2010 album, Nothing Too Hard for God, released in 2010 by Platinum Music Group. And I hope it's a blessing to you. I hope it just reminds us that God is the keeper of your soul. God owns the cattle on a thousand hills. So there's nothing too hard for God to do. Just trust him, believe him. Let him keep you in perfect peace when you keep your mind stayed on him and wear that whole armor to protect you, to keep you walking in peace. You can't walk in peace if you're wounded. So in order to operate in the in, in the in the shoes of the gospel of peace, you gotta have everything else covered. Keep yourself covered in the whole armor of God and make your mind be stayed in Jesus Christ. Get, continue to love each other, continue to be safe, and remember. Every day, there's always time to take a pause. And today's feature song starts right now. May God continue to cover you, protect you, keep you, and increase you in all that you do, say, and think on today. Thank you for watching today's edition of The Daily Pause. Take care, and I love you all. a keeper if you want to be kept of my soul thou will keep you in you remember that one the same story just keep your mind that's all you got to do today. I don't care what you're going through. I come to let you know that I will keep you in perfect peace. Won't he do it? You're looking at a living testimony right here. Because I kept my mind staying on thee. Listen. The earth is the Lord. The fullness thereof The world And in the dwell Therein It all belongs 
to him. Won't he do it? Won't God do it? 